In this video, I'll show you how to set up a WooCommerce price matrix in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So here we are on our test site and I've already created a price matrix for WooCommerce. So for this particular product here, I can go ahead and quickly select the variation in which I want. For example, I can choose the cream color in small and I can enter in the quantity in which I want there. If I wanted the brown variant in medium, I can go ahead and enter in the quantity here as well. And then when I'm finished, I can just go ahead and click add selected to cart. And this will automatically add my particular variations to cart as well. When we scroll down the page here, we've got a different setup for this particular product. I'm just showing a single variation. So we've got the shoes here and we can get it in brown or cream. And I can just go ahead and enter in my particular um, quantity here. And then when I'm done, I can just add select it to cart. Okay, and then when we check our basket, we can see that it's been successfully added to cart. All our different variation has been added to cart. And we can have a similar setup as well on a product page. In this case, I'm showing it on the shop page. You can show it on, you can display it on whichever page you want. So it just makes it super easy for your customers to quickly add the particular variation in which I want to cart. So if you want it as well, you can remove the add to cart button. So it's a read only mode. So your users can just quickly see all the different um, variation in which you offer in a easy to digest manner. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download and install the WooCommerce product table plugin. As you can see, this plugin allows you to do so much more. In this screenshot here, you can clearly see you can add the price matrix to your single product page as well, as well as your pages, posts, and any other pages on your WooCommerce store. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded and installed the WooCommerce product table plugin, we're gonna head over to our WordPress dashboard okay and in your case you'll just go ahead and install and activate the plugin in which you just downloaded so you just go plugins add new go ahead and upload and install the file in which you just activated then you'll see this woo suite menu here go ahead and activate your key once you've done so we'll head over to product table so the second step would be to create your first product table since I've already created one, I'm just going to go ahead and edit one. So in your case, you'll just click add new table. But I'm just going to go ahead and edit a table in which I was working on earlier. So for the title, just name it appropriately. And it's just for internal purposes. So if you do end up having multiple product tables, you know exactly which each table is for. Okay, and then for this quick order form page, we'll just ignore this page for now. It just gives you the option to automatically insert this particular product table into a page. So we'll just ignore it for now. We'll go to form information. Okay, and then in my example, which you saw earlier, I've kept things super simple. I've just got a inner column here. And within this inner column, I'm displaying the product name, the short description, and I'm also showing the image as well. So if we head back to our shop page to get a more visual representation, it will make more sense. So here we are on our shop page. And then as you can see, this particular column is called inner column. And then we've got the product name. We've got a product image since this particular product doesn't have a description. That's why it's not showing. Okay. So this is controlled by our inner column here. So we're showing the name, short description and the product image. And to add your inner column, you can just go ahead and drag and drop this inner column to this current selected column area here. And then you just go ahead and enter in the particular columns in which you want to display in a nested format here. So you can choose from SKU code, product ID, product name, description, short description, and so on. You can also customize it by just adding the individual columns. So for example, I can go ahead and delete this inner column here. And I can just go ahead and drag and drop the product name and maybe the product image if I can find it. And then we'll probably just leave that as it is for now. Okay, so image size here, you can go ahead and adjust the width and height. And for most of these settings, I've just left it blank. For the bulk add to cart, we can leave this blank. There isn't much to um, adjust here apart from maybe the add to cart the add selected to cart button text maybe you want to name rename it to something else 
and you can also adjust the position as well so you can display it above the table below the table or above and below the table i've just selected above the table here um, enable the quantities that's important and then for the form control there isn't much to change here as well so you can add a rule so you can specify which products to display in your product table if you leave it blank it will display all available products within your product table if you wanted you can just add a new rule so you just click add rule and then you can specify the conditions here so for example you can say only display um, products and then you can choose the particular products in which you want to display so for example cap Okay, I don't have a product called cap, <laughs> but you get the idea. You can filter it by a category as well. So you can say only display products within um, the clothing category, for example. And you can add multiple rules. For example, we can say display products within a clothing category, which are also in stock, right? Or you can even set it to out of stock. So I'm just going to delete these rules because I want to display all our products within our product table. Okay, so we scroll down and the main settings in which you need to enable is where it says bulk variation. We'll just click on this here and then you just make sure you enable the bulk variation. You've got the option to specify the Y and X axis. So for example, I've got a few attributes on my store here. So we've got the color attribute, the fit attribute and the size attribute. So you just specify which one you want to set as the X and Y axis. So you just select the options here. Let's say in your accessories categories, right? You don't have a color attribute and you don't have a fit attribute. Maybe you have a material attribute and something else. In that case, because it's not specified here, what this plugin will do, it'll automatically display the attributes as it's laid out on your product page. So let's say, for example, on one of your accessories products, the user has to choose the material attribute first and then I don't know let's say a different attribute right so it will take the first attribute and display it in a y-axis and then the second attribute in the x-axis hope that makes sense so now we'll just go ahead and click save changes okay so here we've got a few option in how we want to actually display and utilize this product table you can insert it automatically into a page by selecting it here or if we go back to our general settings area so this is a particular product table in which I was editing just pricing grid. So we can copy this short code and then we can paste it anywhere on our site and it will display the products in that pricing grid format. We've also got the option as well to set it as our default shop page layout, category page layout and product tag layout as well. OK, so in my case, I've just set it to shop page. So you just hit save changes. OK, and now we just go ahead and make sure everything's displaying correctly. So now when we go to our shop page and refresh this page, the layout should change because we changed our column. So let's go ahead and refresh and see exactly how this looks. Now you can see that instead of the product name and a product image showing in one column, it's actually showing in separate columns now because that's how we specified it earlier. OK, so we've got a product name here, product image, and then we've got our pricing grid here. So again, as I said, if you want, you can disable the add to cart functionality and then you can just use this as a read only mode. And that's how you create a WooCommerce at price matrix grid in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.